So welcome to the Harlem Rose Garden. Thank you. Come inside. I got the land from the city in 2003. Uh, it had been a junkyard. Apparently it had been a garden back in the 70s, but went into disuse and was either a, a drug den or just a place for car parts and, and junk. Even the willow trees are, are newly planted back in 2005. This is what I started with. This was the Harlem Rose Garden. Um, and um, it was a lot of weeds, a lot of car parts, uh, a lot of drug paraphernalia. But with a lot of diligence and some uh, donation of gravel, I was able to transform it two years later into this. So um, these are mostly all new plants. It's been a lot of work, but I, I really enjoy it. And I, I tell people if I, if I worked at this hard at my career, I'd be famous. <laughs> so, but I really enjoyed it. In between the economic downturn and becoming ill, this has really saved my life. I mean, being able to work at something where you see the results right away, and it's just pleasant to be in, and you work away and all the problems of the world are just gone, outside of that fence and just out of sight, out of mind. The Reiki experience was very calming. It, I didn't know what to expect, and I have to say that it was you know, either whether it's kind of psychosomatic or, or I do, but everything seems to be very much calmer down there in that part of my body. So um, I think I would definitely like to go and see him again. Um, that was very interesting. It was great. The meditation I really liked as well it was not what I expected, especially a guy saying that he really liked listening to Black Sabbath and riding his motorcycle. Um, <laughs> and um, that I, I think I would explore too, because again, um, the whole thing about the meditation, both with the meditation and the Reiki, I think a lot of it is um, exercising your mind to allow yourself to concentrate on your inner thoughts and um, or anything that you put your mind to concentrate on, and it's like a muscle; it needs exercise. So I've been I've been working on it, and um, not completely regularly, but I've been trying. And I don't know, my blood pressure is definitely lower than it has been. So something's happening. Oh, that's good. How do you know, do you, like the doctor said your blood pressure is lower? Or? Yeah, when I went in for the, with the intestinal blockage, uh -huh. um, they said, your blood pressure is really low. And I said, really? Because normally it's kind of high, especially if you're like in any kind of intense pain, it definitely spikes and it was pretty, hovering down there at the low end so and then I went uh, I bought an iPod Nano to listen to these CDs that they had given me at the Reiki session and it hasn't worked <laughs> so out of a lot of frustration I thought okay I'm going to bike down to the Apple store and on the way down these two kids threw a huge block of ice at me and I'm thinking <laughs> I just set my bike down and I ran after them. <laughs> yes, I scared the pants off them. <laughs> it was kind of satisfying. So, <laughs> and I thought, no, did that ruin the meditation? I thought, no, it did not. <laughs> just something I had to do. Um, yeah, so now we have uh, heritage roses. These are any roses that are over 50 years old. And some of these strains had been brought over by the original Dutch settlers of Manhattan. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, in the front, we have the famous Green Rose. And this was set in front of the houses that were uh, members of the Underground Railroad. So if you saw the Green Rose in front of a house, you knew that it was a safe haven. Really? Yes. So... Um, but the bad people didn't figure that out? Apparently not. <laughs> <laughs> I like what you've been doing because it's kind of suggestions it's not pushing it's not I don't feel any kind of any kind of guilt if I haven't been keeping up with something which makes it very easily integrated into my crazy lifestyle and um, and I have been working at it and which makes me kind of want to do it more instead of feeling like I'm obliged to do it or oh, I'm part of this study I better get up on it because I have to speak to this camera that's always on me and um, 
So, um, no, it's, it's definitely starting to become part of my lifestyle, which I like, and um, I look forward to, you know, exploring further options, and, and we still have to do some yoga together.